Right, so here we go, as if I hadn't had enough of uh, hand sanding, we're ready to cut the bevels. So um, this is a little jig I knocked up in, I don't know, an hour or so. I mean, it's dead, dead simple to do this. Um, probably not as accurate as you could get with a grinder if you took a bit more time, but there you go. So um, the only thing this cost me was a couple of Jubilee clamps. Um, all the other bits I already had. So we've got the f uh, knife in the guide. I've marked a rough center line there. Um, we've got this old bit of broomstick handle <laughs> attached to a file. Um, we've got this little screw which is holding the end of the knife down, stopping it moving that way when I'm filing. We've got this which is acting as a stopper for the file. So hopefully my plunge cuts uh, are going to be nice and crisp. We've cut it all up with a bit of Sharpie so we can see how, how we're cutting. Um, and that's it, all that's left to do is cross our fingers and get on with it, so let's get to it. Bugger my old boots. That's worked out really well. Um, I, I'm absolutely delighted with that plunge line. I've, I've got worse plunge lines than that from a grinder before. Uh, yeah, very impressed considering it's... Well, you can see I knocked it up with an old bit. It's not even planed wood. I hand planed it so it's not flat at all. So between a dodgy old length of wood, an old broom handle, a couple of Jubilee clips, and a few screws, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Now, time for the tricky bit, so what we need to now do is move the knife from this side onto the next side and cutting an identical bevel on the second side is going to be the hard part, so let's get that set up and then we'll get cutting. <coughs> right, I thought we'd have a look at a bit of an issue that I've come across, so the problem is this. Um, this and this section of wood here um, isn't square. So my worry is that if I just take the knife as it was laying here and transcribe it so it's lying roughly the same, because this isn't square to this piece, um, the bevel is going to be off. So I've come up with a couple of creative measures to try and get around this problem. First thing I did was draw a paper outline of the knife, which was there, which I'd drawn around, thank goodness. Um, secondly, what I did is take this ruler, however thick this is, doesn't really matter, it's just for transcribing, and I popped it on the centre line of this piece, which I'm referencing, drew another line and drew another line and put that onto my paper copy, both sides, and then, thank goodness for primary school science, um, I decided to do the same on the other side, so I took the ruler, drew a line, drew a line, so I've got two reference points, and then... Um, I did the old mirror trick, so bending this piece along that line there, which is the centre line, I bend it straight over, and if theory was correct, these should line up, and if you have a look, check, that out nice and lined up. So it might look a bit kooky compared to the other side, this end is certainly kinked up a bit, but that's the best we've got, so we're going to give it a go, let's see what happens. Right, so there's the result of all that hand fun. It's come out all right. I quite like it. Um, if you pop it next to the knife I used as a model, you can see I've taken off a bit of excess material, and that's because when I was cutting the bevel using my um, <laughs> little DIY bevel kind jig, um, you can't you can't see the other side as it were. So the first side that cuts fine. When you turn it over and cut that, you just 
So I have to go on instinct and feel really to know when uh, to stop. And uh, it was the first time I'd used that machine and I went over a bit. But there we go. Um, I fanned this tang out a little bit. Um, originally, I think I said I was going to do a rat tail tang and upon a bit more investigation, I decided to go with um, a hidden tang, which has a little bit more complexity to the handle. But yeah, it's good. It's, it's all a learning experience. Uh, next step is to get this heat treated. Uh, and after that, we can start working on the handle.